Good evening everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing the chi-square test. And uh, so here is the data right in front of you. I got uh, data of uh, selecting a car brand. And this is the data of 145 people. And uh, this shows me that uh, when it comes to the selecting a particular car, the brand A has been selected by 23 males and 32 females brand B has been selected by 24 males 19 females brand C has been selected by 20 males and 27 females so that's how I got the data and uh, the objective here is to understand whether gender has an impact on selection of brand or uh, is it independent so how do I do that uh, the null hypothesis in this particular case would remain that uh, selection of Selection of uh, selection of car brand is independent of independent of gender, while my H one will remain. The alternate hypothesis will remain that H zero is not true. So I'm just trying to see whether this particular data with uh, this particular sample size suggests me that uh, selection of the car brand is independent of gender or not. So I'm going to use my chi-square uh, test to test independence. If you could recall my particular class in that I've already explained that we can in such situation we can use a chi-square distribution. So what I do is, so these are the observed frequencies. If you could recall that chi-square distribution uh, requires two different type of observations, observed and expected. So I'll just replicate this particular table down under, and this is the table for expected. Uh, so for this is, these are actually observed values. Now I'm going to create a separate table for expected values. And how would I do it? I'll just try to take you through a shortcut. So I'll just copy this whole table, paste it somewhere here, and I'll just blank these cells by pressing my delete key. And uh, I'm going to set up a formula. So I just keep get the cell highlighted. I do not change anything. Or you can redo it. You just select all the cells in one row. And you leave your mouse key, mouse button, and start typing your formula is equal to so how do i calculate the expected value the corresponding row total times the corresponding column total divided by the total sample size so that's how you calculate the expected uh, value or expected observation so in that case since i'm going to use my uh, overall total throughout the table so i press f4 key to freeze it and here I press I press F4 key like once, twice, and thrice to freeze the column. Why? Because I when I move to the cell right, I do not do not want to shift my column. I want to take it another column. That means the females, not not exactly the males. And uh, similarly, when I shift amongst the rows, I want it to change it. But within the same particular row, I don't want to change it. So I'll freeze the rows here. And I press my F4 key once and twice. It freezes the row. And I hit my control enter. And it fills up my uh, expected observations. You can uh, cross check this by pressing your, putting your cursor in any particular cell. Press F2 key and it is taking the perfect estimation. It is E11 times D14 divided by 145. Similarly, in this cell, the formula works absolutely fine. So I have my expect observed values here and expected here. Now I'm going to uh, calculate my chi-square distribution here, chi-square value here. So uh, in this particular cell, let's say I'm going to paste some other things right here. So I'm going to go to data, data analysis. square right here so I'm going to use my direct function chi-square test I'm not using chi-square distribution please remember this it is actually for testing the goodness of fit 
So right now I'm using kite test. It asks me for actual range, which is right here. Actual means observed. And then it asks me for expected range, which is right here. And I hit return. And I compare my this chi square value with my level of significance alpha, which is 0 0.05. If I look into this particular value, it is far above than my alpha value. So in that case, what I do is whether I reject or do not, do not reject my null hypothesis. In that case, I do not reject my null hypothesis because it is a alternative approach than a critical value approach. So it is way above than my alpha value. So I do not reject my null hypothesis. And I conclude that selection of car brands is independent of gender. That means the variation in the data doesn't give me any significant hint that this particular uh, hypothesis should be accepted. Thank you.